Hello and welcome to session 87 of this game. Last time, the party came together after a traumatic incident of Ante's almost dying. Uh, getting to really have good talk-to-talk, heart-to-heart with everyone. Figuring out what the plan for the upcoming month is before Wilhelms is killed on Christmas. Velky did his shows. Serenata, a young wizard came by and asked for safe passage to Berg and also was given shelter at your B&B rather than sleeping in the dusty old library. She also shooed on a taste because that was fun. And we're actually going to kind of roll back for the travels so that you all can kind of talk things out before getting to the city proper as at the gate there were some uh eve magistrate who as we all know are hunting kashana to some degree and with that i welcome everyone to the kingdom of spring cute This is, but it's a very poor one. It probably comes from not wanting to lose more people. I will do whatever it takes to get where I want and where I want to go. I wanted it to come from me. I wanted to show you guys myself. <laughs> all right so like i said we're going to roll back the clock a little so you have these days of travel to discuss uh matt zintra still will have a point of exhaustion when you get to the city i see uh but for now you're traveling with your horses all their new uh gear connected multiple chickens more than you started with so many chickens i guess still same number of chickens some chicks yeah probably (laughs) that makes sense okay we're rolling back the clock all right so uh, Kashana, you will have the foresight to know that you're going to Berg and that yeah. maybe you should figure something out. Um, so because I've been in and out of this place, do I know, like, do they check at the door, like, your magical, like, are they, like, do, do they got magical looky eyes where they're like, hey, I can see your invisible person sitting in the back seat? They do have a magical customs. Would we be going through magical customs? Yes. All right. Well, that would that do. Would I know if that includes polymorph, anything magical? Uh, give me a history check. Yeah, I am good at that. I am proficient. Do they have detective Miminal? Uh, nineteen. 
19. Uh, you do know that they will be checking for magical animals. Uh, what, whether or not specifically polymorphs, um, that kind of depends on the mood of the person that day. Uh, mostly it's just declare your goods and things. Is so there like... Um, them over. Is there like... If I get polymorphed into an animal, is there a way to enter the city? Like, like if I flew in... I don't know what chess is all of, uh, able to do with polymorph. Anything well, well I mean, you were a fly. I can it's turn... a little different with polymorph. But... Yeah. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We're gonna have to declare Marigold anyways, so we could just be like, yo guys, we have two fucked up animals. These are our magical ferrets. We don't know what's wrong with them yet. We're trying to figure that out. That's why I'd be like, I don't know. I don't know what this was originally, but it's currently a ferret, and nobody needs to know that one of them is Kashana. I can turn her into anything between CR zero and CR ten. That is a holy beast. shit. I think we can get away with a ferret then. Yeah, you definitely, definitely can get away with a ferret. I could turn her into a ferret. I could turn her into a ferret, a fly, um, uh, a giant eagle. To go back to a giant eagle, that will... That would not be suspicious at all. I think a giant <laughs> eagle would be too big for the cart. What What if I turn you into a giant crab and just say that carcinization got you? <laughs> you turn into crab. Everything, crabs. Everything <laughs> turns into crab. Yeah. Carcinization. Eventually, given enough time, everything becomes a crab. Um... I mean, if she turns into the giant eagle, she can just fly over the checkpoint. A giant eagle would definitely be noticed. <laughs> yes, but can they catch it? Also, can <laughs> we... I know she asked this. Like, I don't know if you answered. I haven't had a chance to answer yet. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can answer that. Uh, as a regular animal, there would definitely be ways for you to sneak through the walls or fly over. Uh, animals do come and go as animals do uh, every now and then like in real life there is just sometimes megafauna that make their way into a city so there isn't like there isn't like a magical barrier that they have to hit a button to let you through it no the church has a patent on that <laughs> Oof. Um, they that might be the safer sure option do. then for me to get but in and don't keep your mental stats right Correct. Okay. Not sorry. sorry. Everybody talked at the same time. I got concerned. Uh, for polymorph, you don't keep your mental stats. You're right, Mel. No. Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, it's wild shape where you keep your mental stats, but I can only do that to myself. Yeah. 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 That's, That's why fun. we have the very famous critical rule. I like bread. <laughs> I like bread. Or. Moth, moth, flutter, flutter, lamp. Yeah, uh, you can. You would you would be rolling to see if you can keep your thought process of fly into the city. Um, if I if I get polymorphed, so like if I mind linked with someone, let's say, and then got polymorphed, would I be able to keep that mind link? We would make an Arcana check for that. So okay, or specifically. A straight charisma check since you are a charisma caster. Um, I would let you use your your casting ability for that to see. Yeah, R rules as written for polymorph, you lose all of your features because you are a new thing. Mm. Uh, but if it was wild shape, you wild shape has a line of text that says you keep you keep any feature that the form is physically capable of. <laughs> This isn't polymorph. This isn't wild. No. Shape. So I would I would make it a roll to see okay, if my that's... link beforehand to see if it'll carry over. That's fair. Because I like have... yeah, because that's <clears throat> excuse me. All right. Uh, so what do we do? We want me to be in the cart as another ferret and be like, "This is our two ferrets. Um, please don't look at them too closely." If we keep you in the cart, we won't have to worry about you flying off and never seeing you again. <laughs> well, after the time period, <laughs> after the time period, she turned back and be like, "Fuck." I'd be like, "Where's Red?" <laughs> the 
like as cool uh, as it would be if you flew over the wall. My concern would be finding you afterwards. <laughs> I gotta put a beeper on this kid. She goes to her professor's house and shits on it. <laughs> just out of like animal a... instinct. Yeah, just animal instinct alone. Oh, who shit in my coffee? She be one me. of the like one of the chicks or a horse. I feel like the I love, I if, love if the we... idea of her being a ferret because then I could just keep her in my jacket. Well, but, and I think uh... if we try to make me something that we have multiple of, like the chicks, it's gonna look way more suspicioso to have one magical chicken rather as opposed than to two magical ferrets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, opposed no, to two magical I... ferrets don't disagree with this i just like i said i'm gonna most likely have to like they'll probably ask if we have magical like creatures and i'm gonna have to declare mary gold if we're just like i don't know there's a bunch of chickens we just bought them and then one of them was chick uh was magic are we even sure mary gold's still kind of magical sensing no i don't think that he's actual magic it's just he's not a ferret because okay because like it's if... just these are my two fucked up ferrets yeah, because here's the yeah. thing, because, like, if they, like, because they're going to detect magic us, right? Like, that's Maybe. probably how they're going <laughs> to pull this off. Like, if, okay, so, like, Michael, if I detect magic right now, which I will, I'm going to detect magic. It Does does Marigold come up as a magical thing, or is it, like, I'm a ferret? <laughs> he, he says, I'm a ferret. <laughs> yeah, Marigold looks at you, suddenly so much Bro. thought in his eyes. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's magical. Okay, yeah, then that, that should work. They'll just be like, oh, hey, two magical ferrets. <laughs> well, I think as long as we're like, they aren't actually ferrets, but like, they're ferrets now. <laughs> You know, and they'll, and they'll be like, if I had a nickel for every magical ferret you own. Yeah, like we're just collecting. We're magical ferret wranglers at this point. I'd like, have oops. two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that you have two. What's a nickel? Mm -hmm. It's the silver. Electrum. <laughs> no. No, that's Wrong. the end. Felt so wrong. It's the silver dollar. Come on. <laughs> Obsolete. So anyway, I think it's worth a shot. I I'm good with ferret mode. And then that way, if it all goes to pot, um, One I guess I just kind of pop out and be like, whoopsies, and I'll just kind of no, cause my usual chaos. And then we'll all be like, whoa, Marigold is actually a girl the whole time. But not Marigold. <laughs> is ferret mode like sicko mode? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, then I guess leading up, is there anything you wanted to discuss otherwise? Uh, while you're all discussing this, uh, Serenata is just kind of sitting in the corner, uh, minding her own business, reading a book, very much not paying attention to you guys talking about uh, sneaking someone into the city. She can listen all she wants as long as she doesn't say shit. It's fine. Stitches get stitches. Like, if she doesn't care, yeah. that's fine. She doesn't have to care. We don't care that she doesn't care as long as she's niche on us. It's true. It's true. Um, Kashana, give me an insight check. Oh, uh, I'm really good at those, Michael. Please, let, let me do that for you. Okay, that's what I asked for, so. <laughs> I got a whole ass 12. Okay. It was a 13. But then it became a 12. <laughs> uh, looking over at Serenata every now and then, uh, it doesn't, it really looks like she doesn't even hear you. Well, that's good. What if you're both? What if you're both? I agree. <laughs> what like, if you're I'm both like ferrets? Now. I'm like in Talon 2.0 today. I know. I, I don't know what to do about it. Hold on. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Go on without me for a second. No, it's up. funny. I like it. <laughs> so, is there anything else along the way? Well... I don't know. Can she tell me her life story? <laughs> I don't know what you want from me, man. 
Uh, yeah, Saradot will give you her life story. Cool, cool. Uh, I'm gonna drive the cart and listen to her talk for five days. <laughs> uh, quick, quick rundown of it. Um, she lost her arm when she was little. Um, being well, while physical disabilities aren't as much a thing in Sky Dusk because of their extremely well programmed uh prosthetics um her parents got a little overprotective so she ended up mostly only reading found herself fascinated with history and magic uh self-taught herself magic uh following the school of the scribe eventually got into some sort of weird heist thing with a museum uh met some people uh is now pen pals with cricket um and ended up getting down to the wrong city because her guide went the wrong way and now she's just trying to get to berg so she can go to magic school that's what happens when you trust a cat to lead you to where you're going uh i have... oh my god <laughs> sorry <laughs> i unmuted he sneezed again Blessings to bother. i have a question for mel Oh, yeah, what's up? Because Mel is my memory. Oh, no. Um, oh, man. Go ahead, uh, ask your question. The... I remember we had a conversation about Anates trying to schmooze the the Voidwalkers. Why Why was that... When and why is that needed? I don't uh, know. It was to see if there was a way to get into the prisons to get Lord's parents out before we got there. Oh, yeah, well, we eventually get to Skydusk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just okay, to give cool. us some information about the area, some guidance on how we could even do that, uh, if there was anything that happened for, like, why it might have happened, you know, the usual affair. <laughs> right, okay. Just making sure that wasn't Berg. Nope. Nope. That <laughs> is the I'm other sure one. it wasn't because they don't, because Skydusk is the, the place, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, uh, I don't need help getting into Berg specifically. We just need to get Kashada into Berg. Yeah. Yeah, because what what we're, what are we all doing at Berg? We're dropping off Sener Serenata. And we need we're to gonna... be in the church. We're, no, we're going to go visit um, someone for Velky. Ah, gotcha. Very important stop along the way. Yeah, very important stop. Definitely, is this definitely. the city with one of the portals, though? Or is it... Yep. Okay. Every city has a magic circle, except for the one you destroyed. Go, go us. <laughs> My prize moment, really. <laughs> yep. Oh, yep. You broke a portal. You to... killed maybe a bunch of souls. You. <laughs> to be fair, if you're like, uh oh, they might come after me. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It makes sense, but it was also so sad. <laughs> it was so it, sad. <laughs> it was very much me, Chess's panic response. Break everything. I get it. Uh, I'm gonna take my chicken to the elbow right back. It was well calculated, unfortunately. No, I'm bad at math. Real bad at math. Real bad. So, you start approaching upon the city. Yeah. Does Kashana want to do her brain meld and then, well, I mean, chess is gone, but I think we can assume. <laughs> we can assume. Um, yeah. yeah, I will I will mind link with Belki. Okay. I feel like okay. Belki is going to be the most persuasive if shit goes wrong. <laughs> Looks at his zero persuasion. I was going to say, rude, I'm offended. Yeah, okay. war would be better at generally just persuading. I have, an 11, <laughs> I have an 11 to my persuasion. Okay, I will go with lore. Also, that Char makes more sense because I'm going to be in lore's pocket. Yeah. Character yeah. stat-wise, it makes most sense for lore uh, within the world of uh, status. Onates or Velki would be more... I yeah, also you just don't figured... have to go with me. No, we'll go with Lore. It makes sense because I'll be in Lore's pocket most likely until they present me like, ta-da, see, this is a ferret. Yeah, um, we'll do persuasion. Persuasion. Straight up deception. Hi. 
So <laughs> if my no, persuasion wrong. didn't require rolls, I could do it. But it Marigold actually is, is like a little like scarf, and so I'm just gonna have like a two-headed scarf where like there's a head on both sides, but it's just two different ferrets. Okay. I love it. Uh, Kashana, make me a charisma check. Charisma check. Yeah, because that's what you use for your spell casting. It is. Uh, just say it straight. St- Yep. You want, like, a saving throw, or you just want a check? Just a check. Okay. Uh, eh. Well, uh, that's a 14. 14? That's if not If it was bad. a saving throw, it'd be an 18. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, DM. <laughs> okay. Um, so with a 14... You'll have the control for a little bit. For about half of the time. You'll still have your mind linked with lore. Oh no, the line goes dead. Okay, I'm just double checking how long I have, so continue. I believe Polymorph lasts an hour. Or it might be longer, actually. Okay, but I I was... Okay, that's where I was confused. Because I'm like, the time that it takes that i have mine link up or uh well let me double check how long polymorph lasts because technically mine link has no yeah <clears throat> polymorph yeah polymorph lasts oh, an hour yeah sorry no um mine link has an hour for yeah. Um, speaking to telepathically between me and yeah. the other creature. Um, however, because you've been turned into a new creature, it's only going to hold up for a half hour, in which case after that your mind is going to switch to ferret. Alright, I shall be ferret for half an hour on, half an hour off. Got it. Yeah. So, you approach, there are two Eve magistrates at the uh, front of the gates. They ask you to halt and pull over. Okay. One comes up to you, Velky. Uh, they are a tall, uh, well, tall for them, tall dwarf. Hmm. You know how it is, tall. Yeah, I do. <laughs> it happens to be something I'm quite familiar with. <laughs> uh, they have very deep brown hair uh done up in wonderful braids i get that too (laughs) (laughs) say hobble on over how you doing today quite well how are you doing fine uh staying here for business or pleasure Uh, (laughs) sorry (laughs) i guess both all right. Uh, you have any magical objects, items, weapons, any other sort? Oh, I'm a cleric, so yes. Is anybody else? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I jingle jangle the crystal. <laughs> Uh, I'm just transporting the princept of uh, Mornren here today. Mm. Give me, uh, I'll let you decide on this one, Chess. Uh, give me persuasion or intimidation. Would that be with assistance if I say that I am? <laughs> yeah, yeah, with assistance, so you get an advantage. Fuck yeah. So, I'm distinctly better at persuasion. But if I pick intimidation i can add a cruelty die <laughs> play the character uh, yeah what would on do <laughs> i think in this situation it's just persuasion he's but not trying to be he's so, not so. trying to be scary and then persuasion I think that rolled with advantage. It was supposed to have. 
it it didn't. Oh. Wait. Did I do it wrong? Uh, yeah, it only rolled once. Oh, when I click advantage, I have to click roll at the bottom. I see. I did it wrong. Okay. Uh, well, ni yeah. 19 is the one I'm taking. <laughs> okay. Yeah, obviously the 19 is the one you're going to take. Um, the dwarf just kind of goes, <clears throat> uh, yes, of, of course. Uh, then we'll make this very quick for you. I don't want to waste all your time there, uh, Princept. Uh, if I could just get a list of everyone coming through and all your items. Uh, would you need the names of all of my, like, the horses and the... I, I know that's a silly question, I just... <laughs> yeah, do you want the names of both my parrots? Uh, they do a very quick hand gesture. Uh, all magical creatures as well. Your horses are fine. The chickens. Eyes won suspiciously. Chickens. They're fine. Oh, they're quite tame, I, I assure you. <laughs> uh, your ferrets, I will, yes. I just need to declare all of the magical items coming in and out of the city. Uh, well, these are my ferrets, uh, Marigold and Clover. They are both... We're not actually quite sure what they both are. They might be not ferrets, but they both got permanent uh, polymorph on them, so they are now permanently ferrets. They came from this magic, like, bag that was like, oh, I want a dog. Oh, no, actually, I want a cat. Oh, I want a rabbit. And then I was like, mm, I want ferrets. And I was given these two ferrets. Make a deception <laughs> check. That's perfectly I mean, true. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, one of them is true. I also don't actually care, because all my... All, playing into my fucking hands, bro. Um, that is a 27. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, after you keep going on and on, uh, they just kind of like, okay, yes, 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 yes. Um, so, uh, very good rolls from both of you. Uh, very quickly, after marking down all your items, uh, probably takes the whole listing just like about 10 minutes. And you're very quickly pushed through uh, into the city proper. Sick. Very well done. Those were both very good rolls. Can I, like, pop my little head out and be, like, looking at them and then I stick both middle fingers out at them in ferret form and be like, hey, <laughs> <the> fuckers. <laughs> and then they catch you. <laughs> <laughs> and it was going so well. He's like, wait, we were told to look out for double finger off. <laughs> Flipping double off. Finger off? I meant to say double flip off. No. <laughs> it's like fucking finger guns. Yeah. <laughs> but with different fingers. I like this has like a list of things that they're meant to look out for. Yeah. <laughs> like, That's suspicious part, creature or item flipping you off. <laughs> They have really is, oh, weird. They have five fingers. Mm -hmm. yeah. They they have, have some really little... weird posters in their break rooms. Damn. It's very uh. It's kind of like otters, but they're a little bit less. Aperture science esque. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Aperture science. This is yes. aperture. This is aperture. And today oh I found God. out that um there's a sign in I think it's Portal Two and it's like. Something about, like, if you blow up something, look at the explosion, like, straight on. That's a sign in the game. And it was because the, the creators spent all this time creating a really, like, in-depth explosion. <laughs> just for all of the test players to, like, look away when it exploded. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Uh, so you, you enter... Very clear, Johnson. <laughs> you enter the city proper... Uh, you can feel the magic buzzing in the air. Uh, all of the shops and buildings have minor illusion signs on them. Denoting what everything is. So it's almost like there's just amazing holographic projections all over the place. God, I haven't been here in years. I've never been here. How's it feel? Very interesting. Different. Just hear yeah. little ferret noises coming from your pocket. 
No, you're my uh, my like a like a feather boa, but of two ferrets. So I can stroke both my ferrets with both my hands. Awesome. You hear ferret noises <laughs> coming around from around your neck, pointing at things. I look like a I look like a super villain with two ferrets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of uh what you look like, Lore. Are like you <laughs> Are you in changeling or tiefling form? Like I would have went back to tiefling form just because of the integrity of this quest fair enough All but normally right. lore is actually changeling form now okay. unless i get really anxious because it's memory muscle to go back to tiefling form yeah. fun That's fact to ask every time now <laughs> thought really hard about this i appreciate mel for asking gotta i gotta make sure it's the right one every time yeah i uh i just need to double check because we are now in a much bigger city, um, so I just want to know. Yeah, no, I think it would be realistic that he'd be in uh, tiefling form just because they were trying to sneak in, and I feel like drawing that would draw a lot of attention um, to the situation. Fair. Fair, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> you are now in the city proper. Uh, you are free to do with what you like. Happy. No. Soon. <laughs> this is the place to shop. It is the place to shop. I should have mentioned if there are items you guys wanted to look for, this would be the time to do it. Yes. Maybe if we want to, we can do it after game. Yeah. Or have it planned for next time, depending on where we end up, but... I usually know what I need, so it's not a very diverse <laughs> list ever. So. Oh, maybe I'll find that that tailor for the the bag of holding pocket here. Maybe you'll find a mason. The pocket of holding. Pocket of holding. I think the first thing the Velky would want to do is drop off Serenata because, you know, yep. <laughs> get her on her way so she's not and free when we balling. Get up to when we get into trouble, she's not an accomplice. And that way we can get Kashana out of fair form quickly, if necessary. Well, we're I mean, Tarot like, definitely you know. seen us put her in fair form, so... Yeah. Alright, so you get outside of the school Kashana ran from. Serenata hops off the cart, gives a nice wave goodbye, and walks up the steps into this giant towered school. Terrifying. I'm just gonna uh, cower closer to Lore. I'm just gonna be like a little tighter around your neck. Not like in a scared way, more of like, I don't like this place. It gives me that jupe jupes. You're like doing the hiss at it. Yeah, I'm like the one pet. paw up. Laura's just going to, in a constant, until Kashana is not in ferret form, just going to be petting both ferrets. Because every time um, Laura pe pets Kashana, Marigold gets a little bit jealous. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. Okay. And I guess uh, we'll find a place to regroup, figure out where we're going next. So, I was stuck into an alleyway or something. All right. Where there's not many people. I would know the area. Could I find us a good place to hide out? Yeah, you definitely could. Um, if you're trying to sneak into a place, uh, just give me a stealth check, someone. Well, I'm not personally trying to sneak anywhere. I'm just trying to park the cart out of the way so that we can okay. get out and talk. Sure. <laughs> then no stealth check. <laughs> you have been denied a stealth check. That's just what All I'm right. doing. If, if <laughs> Kashana's gonna take me into a place that is stealth required, I'll, I'll make one. No, I was kind of thinking more of like just finding an area that I know is not usually very populated, usually quite quiet. Like, because I would know pretty much this area pretty well. I've been here for yeah. a bit before. Uh, the quietest place in the city would be to the west in Evers Road. Quick question, Michael. Where are we right now? Can you ping me on the map? Sure. So, you guys entered down here. Mm -hmm. The six. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 
Um, the, the main castle is obviously here. Yeah. Um, and then the schools are like along the outside. Not okay. directly connected to the castle, but basically a stone's throw. It's like a combination of four giant towered buildings in the middle of city, all right next to each other. And which side are we on right now? You are currently like in this area. Okay, so when you say to the like left, you mean like immediately yeah. to the left? Yeah, the immediately bank. going west. Okie dokie, I'll head in that direction then. I'll follow the ferret directions. Okay. Tap shoulder, tap shoulder, point, point. <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 I'll give uh, Laura a smoochie, and then I gotta cr crawl on over to, to Velky, and I'm just gonna point with my little furry paw. Uh, considering how long everything takes, you get about halfway to Evers Road before your time limit on the polymorph runs up. Pull, pull a ratatouille, just pull my hair. Rakakuni. I do, and then I become feral. And then I just start eating your hair. Ah. <laughs> uh oh. I don't know. Get her off. Get her off. Look, I can take it back. Hand. She's not. Yeah, she's feral. I'll take it back. My head? <laughs> yeah, Marigold used to do that too, so I mean, I got lots of ferret bites already. <laughs> I'll tilt my head back, so. Or can grab her. Snatch. I'm assuming there might be uh, street signs, though. You know. Yeah, you you uh, you know the general direction you were headed, and eventually you come across a nice place to stop. Sick. Right. There's a nice. It it didn't come up green on the map, but there's a nice big park over here. Uh. The lawn over here is a much more official kind of place. Yes, I noticed. Yeah. Um, so I'll usher, I'll usher everyone into the back, maybe into the caravan or, or on the street. Whatever you want, wherever we want to talk. But, um, do you want to turn Kishona back into a Kishona? Or do we have to wait? It's safe for her to be a Kishona. We could turn will... it back into Kashonda and then we could invisible her. I think I she's... Should... well, I don't know. I'm just eating my own foot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Velky and Onatase make me a perception check. Okay. They have advantage. Oh, shit, that's cocked. 23. I got... Ah! I got a the fuck is that number again? Yep. Sorry, the light is hitting it stupid. Uh, math. What the fuck am I doing? Perception. I don't know. No, I my, my math, my brain stopped working. What are the numbers? Count. I got figured it out just a second. Okay. Twenty-two. <laughs> Twenty-two. Okay, while you were driving, Velky. Uh, you were keeping an eye out, and there's not any sort of wanted posters for Kashana. Mm -hmm. Um, and on a taste, as you guys are setting up shop here, you're not seeing any Eve Magistrate around. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Let us do it on an as need to basis. I will get her her opinion in a moment. Can you? Is that is that a thing you can drop? Can you like drop the spell? Oh, yeah. Cro cross my arms, nod at Gashana. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, <Very> Gene. <laughs> I, ba I bamf back, fist in my, in my, in my mouth, and I'm like... I... <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't let her get off Laura first, though. So they, they come. They crumple. Crumple. Crumpled. I just. I just look at Laura. I look at the ceiling. I'm assuming, and I just go. Well, this is a new position, and I get up. <laughs> just well, maybe if you didn't have your fist in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I don't know what happened. I became ferret. It was interesting. I have a new respect for Marigold. For a short while, Kashana 
all your problems in life seem to just fade away. All and I thought about was foot and foot. All you thought was foot. <laughs> Seems like a pretty simple life. I think all Marigold thinks about is food and meat. Mostly meat. Every time I talk to Marigold, it's usually just meat. Yeah. I love that for him. I think every time I've gotten him to do something, it's been at the promise of meat. Yeah, sometimes I'm worried I'm not feeding him enough because he seems hungry all the time, but then I give him too much food and now he's getting kind of pudgy in the middle, so I don't really know where our balance is. Oh no, not pudgy ferret. Oh, cute. <laughs> he's like around like it's just a circle in the middle like i don't know oh, sausage seen molly recently but like how molly is where she's like thin circle thin <laughs> fucking amazing <laughs> well and now that we're all here and compass mentors so to speak i think i figure it's, it's a good opportunity to come up with a plan What is the plan? What are, we, what are we doing? actually doing here? Well, Loki needs to see someone, and then we need to find the portal, and portal ourselves off to... Um... Ottomid? Not yet. No, I have to... I have to go to Claude End first. Ah, yes. So well, we're the... portaling ourselves to Claude End. Yeah. Mm. Are we going to portal, or are we going to... Oh, uh, actually, we need to travel there on foot. Well, not foot, but by cart. Because remember when I talked to um, Rogar, I was supposed to meet him between here and there. Oh, yes. Is We're there gonna... a portal in Claude N2? There should be. There's a church okay. there. There's a por there should be a portal at most churches. Um, right. Yeah, we need to meet him there. Uh, any... Have you made a decision on what you're doing about that, here, Falky? Uh, oh, no, not really. Um, I'm hoping that after I, I see Matilda, it will give me um, some more information. Or a better understanding, perhaps. Okay. Or nothing at all. <laughs> there really is only one option. It feels it's like a lie, but no pressure. Uh, well... What I mean by that is, uh, you've already given me a focus. Oh! Yes, I did do that, right? Yes. Does that... And does it still work? I just... I, I, I imagine. It's the same way that I could transfer from that to the lantern. You'd think it'd be blasphemous. Well, really, um, it just needs the symbol. Right, but it's a symbol made by magic supplied by another god. Mm, well, the way I look at it is it's magic supplied by you. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually not sure if I get my powers from him. I wouldn't know, honestly. Yeah, questions for later. I've never asked him. Um, I assume, like the rest of the druids, I gain... I take my power from nature... Most druids don't have gods in their eyes, so... But all nature is derived from gods, and is the stars not, you know, nature? I guess they are. Most people don't have godfathers, you know? Y yeah, I'm very uh, unusual. Though I have heard the godparents are a thing. Yeah, oh, okay. Not like a god parents, but like a god parent, <laughs> you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was the Wait, joke. We understand like what you're saying, yes, you Like a, a father god. A father god. <laughs> there is a difference, yeah. Yes, Law, thank you, Law. But, I mean, I, I, I'm not entirely sure what the whole plan is while we're here. Um, like, Kashana, is there anything that you need or want to do while we're in the area? Well, I mean, not really. I'm not very much welcome. Like, I mean, I guess I am welcome. Who but welcome? not welcome? Uh, so, kind of not? I don't know. Um, 
Is it preferable that we get out of here as soon as possible? No, once we're inside, we're pretty much good. Like, as long as we don't, like, run into anyone I know. But uh, even then, I'll, I'll be alright. Will you let us know if you oh, need to be right. ferreted again? Yes. Uh, yes, I will. I will point and I will go, ferret mode, activate, and uh, then I will ferret. Right. Hopefully. I don't think it works like that, but like, let us know if you do need a... us to hide you, because I could also do make you invisible. I know that that's like detectable, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, the, the problem here is like, and I don't think we'll have much problem, because like, most people aren't going to be looking for me, but uh, some people, you know, they're little suspiciosos of others, so they might have some magic things up, but uh, you'll be alright. Plus, I know most of the streets around here, so we should be fine. Yeah. Okay. You just let us know what you need, and I'll try and get us out of here quickly. Um, hopefully it won't be long. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, so where exactly in the city do you need to go, Velky? Where do I need to go, Michael? I know I have her address, because I've sent her letters. Yep. Um, her location uh, is up near the gate of Northgate. Okay, so <laughs> good for her. I guess that makes just, sense. Yeah, just a small place over right. here. Right. That's the road out of here. Um, I would also say that while we're here, if there's anything you want to buy, this is probably the place to get magic items. Oh yeah, there's some really good shops around here that we can always go have a look at. I may have a thing or two to look for. That's good. Uh, otherwise, um, I'll need to head up to Northgate at some point. Well, I mean, if we have nothing else, we could just go up there. Oh, it's Yeah. So good. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. You, are you going to be okay? Yeah. Yeah. You know, when you see somebody you haven't seen in many years, it's a little weird. Did you maybe need a little bit of time? I think we have some time because, like, we still need to go to Cloud End and we've got. Hey, God, how many days do we have? Uh, you've got. You've got mail. Uh, you got 17 days. All right, we got, we got 17 days. We, we can. We can putz around a little bit. 17 days. 17 <laughs> days! Hey, look. I think well, I, I'm okay. I'm I'm nervous in the way that how do I put this? I might get noogied in front of my friends, and that's just <laughs> well, I guess she'll have to reach me first. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're heading up to Matilde's. You. All right. So you arrive, and it is a what? Michael inspiring confidence as he sighs deeply. <laughs> <laughs> it is a humble apartment complex, or it's very quite simple. She is on the fourth floor. Park your horse and carriage outside. Is the whole group going up? They're welcome to. I don't care. I'll go with Elke and hold his hand. Yeah, I'll go. Sure. I got your back, little buddy. You may as well come. She's lovely. Whoa. Alright. I just haven't actually explained who she is, have I? <laughs> no. No, no. Just... Jeez. <laughs> it just 
vague. We have made it to Matilda's apartment here. Um, <laughs> got to head inside. Uh, I'm gonna explain who she is first. So, Matilda is much like an older sister, I guess. She's Orlin's older sister. Oh. Is there a chance that she doesn't want to see you because of the whole situation? No. Well, Not as didn't... far as I'm aware. Okay, pause to make sure I know this fact. Or that Onatis knows this fact. The mm -hmm. one time you messaged Orlin and they and he said something like, Oh, so now you're trying to use his voice against me? Uh, that wasn't Matilde? No, no, that was, Orlin said that, but like... Oh, no. okay, now I know what you're saying. Um, I thought you meant Velky said that, and I'm like, I don't remember Velky saying that, but no, no, I understand now. Um, he's been in correspondence with Matilde on and off this entire time, and she has never given him the impression that he's not welcome. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Never mind. If that if that helps answer the question. <laughs> it does. We're good. Never mind. Yoki. Good thing to check though. That would suck. Yeah, I just don't want to walk in there and then she holds a gun to our head. I mean, Get if that's what happens, it, it was not because I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so is she um, hopefully has some... Uh, hmm. Can I detect magic before we go up? I don't want to be scryed on right now. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> you sure. Want me to do it since it's free for me to use? Sure, go ahead. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. I can detect free magic. for you and cheap for them. Uh, I detect the, the magic around me in a 30-foot radius, and I'm spying for spies. Spying for spies? E. There does not currently seem to be any spies. I give the all clear sign. Okay. Then we can head up. <laughs> Mosey on up. Mosey on up. Many stairs. You get How outside. Many? No, I'm well, kidding. it's four no, flights. No. Keep going. Keep talking. <laughs> many stairs, such wow. Truly. About 48 stairs. Oh, yuck. It's Gostin. <laughs> Get outside her door. Give it a little knock. Hear her voice from inside coming. Hear like a flop down onto the floor and like pitter patter of feet. For she, uh, she opens the door. And sees you, Valky, and just instantly starts crying. No. And no. just like immediately hugs you. I'll I'll, I'll get down and hug her too. Hugsies. It's been so long. I know. I'm sorry. Do you want to describe what Matilda looks like for everybody? I can give a picture. That's yeah, helpful. a picture is worth a thousand words. It is when you can draw. So actually, this is Matilde. With, actually, with inflation, what? it's only 957 words. Enough from you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Leave I have my house. <laughs> oh, she's cute. It's a bye bye. I love her. She is, of course, a gnome. Yes, she's a gnome. I, I'm pretty sure she's not as tall as Orlin is, but that's... No, Orlin <laughs> is, of course, a giant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Orlin's weird. Abnormal, one might say. Yeah. Big gnome on campus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally, it was big gnome on campus. Okay. She eventually. That's what she looks like. Yeah. <laughs> she eventually wipes badges to wipe the tears from her eyes and like just grabs your hands like come in, come in. Okay. 
okay, okay. Uh, I'll I'll follow her. Uh, is, is it okay if I bring everyone? Oh yes, of course, of course, of course. I'll have to make some more tea. She takes the moment to like compose herself as she gets some tea on for everybody. Filter everyone in. It's a quaint little space. Um, the kitchen and living space are all uh, medium person sized. And by medium, I mean D&D term medium. Velgy size. Gotcha. Yeah. So it, it's meant more for all of you. It is very big for a gnome. I'm sorry if everyone heard that. <laughs> nope. Okay, good. My, sound, every, everybody's it. woo in the background. It was really funny. <laughs> if it's big for a gnome, does she have to, like, climb on apple boxes to get the thing? Yeah. Why would it be like that? Because that's the apartment she could afford. And she's not living in, like, a gnomish village, so... Yeah, but, like, I don't know. Right, you would think accessibility would be a thing. (laughs) Well, she was displaced. I guess. I'm like, I don't know, people with, like, dwarfism and stuff have, like, houses that have, like, furniture that accommodates them. Yeah. Live somewhere, you want it to be, like, the best for you. I've had friends move into places that's like this used to belong to to a like a smaller person so the light switch is like at my knee level yeah yeah normally oh. you have to like, make those also... changes unfortunately yeah it, it costs a lot <laughs> to do so have accommodate really tall people as well mm-hmm. spring keep is generally a pretty great place but this is unfortunately a giant city um, and she can't afford to pay for those kind of things. So she has a little stepping stool, right? Yeah, she has a little stepping stool. And she is, uh, you would know this from over the years of corresponding with her. She is hoping to one day move back to Claude End. Mm-hmm. Um, just not quite ready yet. So she has a little stepping stool and stepping stools all over the place so she's not carrying them around um though the like dining table is definitely more of a coffee table so that Mm -hmm. accommodates her (laughs) so you can all sit around at this coffee table we're Um, gonna Korean table this shit. Let's go. Yeah. Um, she serves you all tea. It is very nice and fragrant. Uh, asks if anyone wants some milk or sugar or honey. I like my tea plain. <laughs> Can I have just a glass of milk? I like my milk plain. <laughs> <laughs> I like my milk unteed. Yeah, you can be accommodated with a glass of milk. I don't have any milk in my house right now, so I gotta live vicariously through my child. (laughs) And she eventually manages to get herself settled enough to sit down. I think introductions are in order. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I'll let everybody introduce themselves. <laughs> I'm because Shona. Uh, oh, that's what I was oh. worried about. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I kind of figured that's. I I I know it's okay. Pat Pat felt me on the hand. I'm Kashona. It's very nice to meet you. I am, um, Belki's friend. I th- I think. Maybe. Oh, very much so. Yeah. There we go. It's okay to have volatile friendships sometimes. <laughs> We we fight like siblings. And love like siblings. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right. 
I ripped Ooh, don't, don't, don't someone don't else. Zentris. Zentris. In the el like, elbow pass, to the wrist. Pass the talking stick. Hello? <laughs> I was saying I was introducing myself. Oh shit. <laughs> Go ahead. I am Zentris. It's riveting. <laughs> is, that, is that all, buddy? <laughs> it doesn't. I mean, what else does it really t tell? A man of I many words. A poet. I'm traveling with Melky. <laughs> <laughs> We're also friends, turns out. <laughs> I mean, I assume you keep me around for a reason. Y yes, because you I love you. This guy. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> well, I am the great Onatos. Oh, you're great. Just just, just Onatos is fine, right. I'm sure. Princept of Mornrin. I don't think she knew about that. She, I don't think, no. no. I don't think he told her. So her, eye, her eyebrows just kind of go up. Puts out like a whistle, like <laughs> that didn't come across very well. I heard it though, so it's Good. Fine. <laughs> it worked. It worked. Oh, and I guess, and I guess he wouldn't say, I guess. Oh, and and he'll like grab Velky by the shoulder and pull him in. Yes, that um, is Velky. No, but. <laughs> Never mind. Go ahead, sorry, that was really funny. <laughs> I was going to say I'm Belky's boyfriend, but sure. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm going to have to hear about that later. <laughs> or now, tell about me now. Tell about me, tell me about it now. <laughs> oh, I've told about you as much as I can. Um, well, I'm Lord Vella Historia, uh, before we get into this riveting information about their, how they're dating, and this is Marigold. Oh, little baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now you guys can talk about your gay little story. <laughs> Matt, I'm sorry, can we just, can we just appreciate Matt for one minute? <sighs> Not His magic. wife Why? went down. Damn, not your oh. wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate when my I hate when my wife falls. Wife down, wife down. <laughs> Can we have a moment of silence for Matt's wife? <laughs> okay. I typed wife. I I don't know why it auto corrected the wife. <laughs> because the wife is on screen. <laughs> mm. Yep. Um, anyway, if you need me for anything in Roll20, you're going to have to do it. Fair, Fair enough. Until Hopefully it comes back. So yeah, these are the people I've been traveling with. They're my friends. Um, I mean, if you really want that story... Uh... <laughs> oh, we can, we can talk about all that later. Okay. Um, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, so I'm Matilde. I have known Velky since he was a wee babble. Uh, hasn't gotten much bigger <laughs> since. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can picture you as a babble. I was, I was imagining I was quite cute. Yeah, probably. I mean, you're quite cute now, so... It depends on the day. Mmm, I disagree. Fair enough. Uh, he and my younger brother Orlin have been best friends since... Well, since... Diapers. Diapers. <laughs> since before they could talk. And boy, once Orlin started talking, he never stopped. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> uh, and then after the incident in Claude End, I suppose, well, Velky and Orlin are the only family I really have left. 
And I sort of set myself up here for now. Before Orlin and Velky walked on over to Corona. Long walk. Very long walk. I couldn't make that walk. My legs are way too short. I would have carried you. It's okay. <laughs> and it's just been a long time since I've been able to see you. It was hard to get out. Turns out they don't really offer you the freedom to leave much <laughs> until until you're ready. all done. Yeah, I understand. I understand. I'm glad you're here now. I wish it was under better circumstances. Yeah. Um, did you want to talk about that right away? I don't know. Are you ready to talk about it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Get the, the hard stuff out of the way, and then, and then, and then on to the fun stuff. Yeah. Um, so, between when you last contacted me to look through records, um, and then when you last sent me a message, which I don't know if you've ever been on the receiving end of those it's very startling i have yeah <laughs> it is um it is uh sp- between those times i've been i was approached by two uh clerics of shatir uh who claim to have information on orlin What did they look like? Uh, well, one was a dwarf and the other was an elf. Um, I, of course, was very apprehensive. Um, though the things they told me convinced me that they were indeed friends of Orleans. Um, and they could probably give you some more details than I can. They are still in the city. Um, and I could set up a meeting between them if you like. Uh, sure. From what I can tell, it sounds like Orlin's being held somewhere. Yeah, I think that has to be the case. Yeah. I can't uh, reach him. They said they have the location, but didn't really want to say it in case they were being watched. Right. How How did this happen? Like, how did they know where to find you? Uh, apparently, before being captured, Orlin gave some instructions on to find either you or myself. Um, and I guess it was easier to find me. I, I guess so. That's strange. But absolutely, go ahead. I'm, I'm willing to listen. Yeah, I can uh, get them to come by soon and you can talk to them. Um, they definitely knew things that only Orlin would have told them. So it's not like they're some spies or anything. I trust them. Okay. Uh, as for the stuff you asked me, asked of me, um, she kind of stands up quick and like runs over to uh, her bedroom. Here's some shuffling about. Uh, and then she comes out with like two big folders. (laughs) Uh, here's everything I could find and was allowed to take. I made copies of things. Um, they're not great, uh, but I did what I could. The fact that you did anything at all is amazing. Thank you. Hopefully. I've had a lot of weird things happen lately. Is all. Oh. 
Yeah. Um. Oh god, now to consider how much... You know, like, what, what, what? I don't want to put you in any danger. Well, if my little brother's in danger, then I'm <laughs> willing to take anything to help. And I would love to know what's going on. I don't want to be in the dark. Out the truth. Up with the church and everything they're doing. Bad things. The church is doing bad things? Well, maybe I should clarify. You, I don't think you would have ever met him, but I wouldn't put it past all in to talk about him. Um, Darju. Uh, she kind of thinks for a second. Uh, that's the advisor of Automid. Yes, he was also our teacher. Not one of. Uh, some some something has happened wherein he has decided to enact a plot uh, to um, make an undead army, uh, release them into the world, kill Wilhelm's and potentially every other princept, so that he can amass all of the crystals, put them together, and make some crazy super being called the Knight. Uncertain about everything else at the moment. Anatase oh. has more information than I do in that regard. He wants to make the secret seventh or eighth? Seventh. Secret seventh princept, the knight princept, king. Ooh. That's, uh, that's some, uh, spicy information. I think Orlin found all that out. Because Daju knew where he was. knows where he is. Tell me one. Oh, also there's, there's, there's two moons. Two moons? Oh yes, yeah. that's a new revelation. It, Where's the second one? In front of the other one. <laughs> How does that work? You know when we think there's an eclipse happening? Uh, yeah? That's actually the other moon going in front of our normal moon. <laughs> so when we have a new moon, it's actually an eclipse of the moon in front. Huh. Or the moon behind. That's weird. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Imagine just telling somebody there's two moons, but you can't see them both at the same time because one moon's just in front of the other moon. <laughs> moon moon. Like, <laughs> sounds super fake, and I love it. It definitely <laughs> sounds... <laughs> yeah, it, or it sounds like what people assume would have happened with our moon in real life back then. The reason the moon has phases is because there's a secret moon covering it. Yeah, it's not shadow. <laughs> I love it. I know, I know it sounds absolutely buckshit wild, but I swear to God, all of the gods, every single one of them, but it is true. Well, I don't think you'd lie to me. I, I would do my best not to. Okay, so there's two moons. And the reason that I wanted you to do all of this research was because I, um, I've been getting visions. Okay. From two different entities, voices. Uh -huh. Okay. And I think it might be the other, you know, the moons. <laughs> the moons, yes, of course. I think they're in my head. Well, I've heard of having stars in your eyes, so. This huh. guy. Have you? Uh, yeah. Real question: Have you heard of that? Because well, I, we know a guy. <laughs> well, it's a figure <laughs> of speech. 
It's me. I'm the guy. And he... he Look plays. at his eyes. It's terrifying sometimes. It's actually oh, funny. that's... It's so that's... Funny. That's uncanny. I've heard of it as a... As a figure of speech, but... Whew. Yeah, they're a gift from my father. <laughs> There's there's no actual connection in terms of relevant paternity that we're aware of. <laughs> yeah, don't actually worry about that, but he does have stars in his eyes, and it's at this exact moment not important. Stars, but it probably will be later. <laughs> the fact that there's a being with stars in his eyes and at any point that's not important is just great. <laughs> But one of the visions I was getting was of somebody that looked like me, but it wasn't me. Someone that looked like you, but isn't you. Like an ancestor, perhaps, or something. I don't know. I didn't know there was anybody that looked like me, not like like me. So that's why you had me going through to get these? One of the reasons. I just wanted to know more. Don't really have anybody to ask. Well, that's fair. I hope I hope it helps. I just want to help get all in out, and I hope all of this helps. I hope so too. And if I need to waltz up to that dodge or whatever and give him a what for, I will. Well, you know, Onatas has killed him once. So, I imagine he's not that hard getting rid of. We're learning all the fun facts about me today. <laughs> I'm sorry all our information is confusing. <laughs> it's a lot. It's been a couple months. <laughs> it's hard to condense it all into one so, little bit. Uh, I'll, I'll turn to, to Velky. I'll whisper in his ear. Do we tell her? No. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Do you... Do we tell her that all the advisors suck? You can tell her whatever you want. She has the right to know. If you... I mean, I trust her. Right. Um, also, if you're approached by an advisor to any of the princeps, including my own, <laughs> do not trust them. Understood. You can it's trust been a me. struggle. We, yeah, you're not an advisor. No, but I don't want her to think that like the princeps can't be trusted because the advisors can't be trusted. No, the advisors are acting completely on their own and doing shady shit. All of them? Well, all the ones we've yeah. met. <laughs> Definitely three. Da Definitely da three. Daju, Eden, and Cass. And don't take any of the advisors, because honestly, this point is suspicious. Awesome. Yeah, if it's if it's three of seven, six, three of six. six. <laughs> if it's if it's three of six, that's I'm willing to bet it could be six of six. Mm. Okay, if uh, if any of the advisors approach little old me. I will <laughs> punch him and run. Okay, maybe don't very punch him. Very good, very good. No, no I, think, I think she's got it. <laughs> yeah, she's on the Look, I killed Daju, but it wasn't easy. You don't know Matilde. Yeah, I like you. I don't she... know you very well, but I do exactly your instincts. No, punch and run. Matilde, do you have combat training or any magic? I don't have any magic, but I wrangled a bunch of kids all the time. You know what, so, fair enough, that counts. So, yeah, I have a lot of combat training. Yeah. <laughs> Are you She's like... She's wicked with a wooden spoon. Do you... Do you want, like, a nursery or something? No. Okay. We should take care of all of us. Okay. Me and Orlin had a bit of an extended family, and I looked after the youngins, and then this one as well. Right. I was kind of the babysitter of the village. He does need a lot of looking after. 
I was actually the tamest wrangler. of the children in the village. I will tell you that much. Mm, I believe it sometimes. <laughs> Perhaps, maybe on the odd occasion, I would act up. If Orlin had an idea, he could easily mm -hmm. rope Valky into it. He has many ideas, it turns out. I think that him and Kishona would get along very well. <laughs>